Tim Gordon here from Autosavant.com with your June 22nd edition of the Afternoon Commute. Uh, it's a little bit different of a commute because it's Friday and we were actually just at shooting some of the video for the Audi A6 review. I have a couple things to go through today uh, and then a bunch more video to start putting up. We're getting to the point where we almost have more content than we have time to process it and post it. But these are our problems and not yours. So start today with the Tesla Model S, the new Tesla sedan. It officially was rated by the light feet at the EPA at 89 MPGE, which is some kind of fuzzy math calculation about the amount of energy that's in a gallon of gasoline or something. Uh, that's great. I mean, how does that compare to things? Well, to give you an idea, the LEAF is at 99 MPGE, and then everything else is a little bit better than that. Uh, I think the most interesting part about all of this is the official cruising range of the Tesla Model S with the biggest battery pack, because now the Tesla, instead of having different engine choices, you can buy with different battery packs in it. And I believe it's the big 85 kilowatt hour battery in it. Uh, it will go 265 miles on a single charge, which means that for right now, it has the longest range of any fully electric vehicle. And it also hopefully means that when Jeremy Clarkson gets one, not that Tesla's gonna let him have one, he might be able to get three or four laps around the track with it. Number two for today, did you want a BMW M5 with a manual transmission? No soup for you on that one. BMW's officially announced that they will not be putting a manual transmission in the next M5 because it doesn't make fiscal sense. Enough of you BMW stereotypes out there don't buy BMWs anymore with manual transmissions, and as a result, you won't be able to get one. Ford Sync, the Ford system that lets you say an artist's name and find it, you know, the very inexpensive and common platform that Ford's built into their cars was just inducted to the Computer Hall of Fame. Also inducted was Betamax and the Laserdisc. I, of course, I'm kidding. I kid, I kid Ford. Actually, Sync is a reasonably big accomplishment. You know, it's in over 4 million cars right now. It was, you know, brought in because of the low cost of entry and really the high quality of it for the price. Speaking of Ford, Ford also announced that they're going to be releasing a browser extension for the Chrome web browser, Google's web browser, that will tie your smartphone to your computer and use it as a Bluetooth key. And by the way, none of this is a joke. This is for real. That So as you walk up to your computer, it'll log you into your favorite social media networks. Unfortunately, Meat Spin's not included on that one. This is like a wacky thing. I don't know what Ford is doing solving these problems, but the people who have touched it seem to like it. Sure, there's the possibility that you could spoof a Bluetooth ID so you could get into somebody's computer, but realistically, I guess nobody cares that much if you can get into their Facebook and Twitter, but we shall see. As soon as it's available to download, we'll get it and let you know it works, only because it's made by Ford of all people. And finally, it's Friday, and there's a Formula One race this weekend, which is always puts me at least in a better mood around the house. Well, uh, continuing along the lines of our Formula One technology discussions, the Mercedes F1 team, the Mercedes GP team, have released another video, this one of Nico Rosberg talking about the carbon monocoque chassis that Formula One cars are built with, and specifically how strong they are and safe they are. And the video demonstration they give, uh, you may not notice it because it flies by, is about the fact that the nose cone on a Formula One car, which weighs less than eight pounds, 
is on the front of a sled which weighs almost two tons. It's like 1,700 some pounds. Going 54 miles an hour and it stops at no problem. Now think about that. That's something that's eight pounds that's stopping almost two tons in the length of itself going 54 miles an hour. It really is incredible what is going on in Formula One. And, you know, as much as I've given them sort of a hard time this year, you can only hope and pray that that technology does start to filter down to passenger cars. So that's it. That's the afternoon commute for the day uh, and the week. I'm Kevin Gordon from Autosavant.com, and I look forward to talking to you guys next week.